So aloha, this is John, and uh, today I'm here with Teresa Blanding, and um, this series is sort of in response to an ongoing conversation from so many of my students, at least, and also Teresa's, from Teresa's end, that people would like to be a fly on the wall while we're, while we're talking. Um, guys, we're going to just lay out what we see about human design. And th this is our perspective. You know, I've been a someone that's been deeply involved in the experimentation and, and self-verification of this process for roughly the last 18 years, been teaching full time. Teresa also has, from a totally different perspective than in her research and development world. Um, and she really is the mad scientist where I'm the let's just <laughs> jump off the mountain and see what happens guy. So we have very different perspectives coming at this. Somewhere around five years ago, I <laughs> and Teresa will laugh because everything, I'm suspicious and don't trust anything. Um, but, you know, basically I was really starting to distrust the personality at every level. And when I finally said, you know, look, the personality is the instrument of the not self. Is this not common knowledge? And everybody thought that was revolutionary. Um, I was shocked. Meanwhile, Teresa was verifying, you know, why I didn't trust the personality. So on that note, I will let her <laughs> introduce what her living as self has brought her to. Hello, this is Teresa here with John and, uh, yeah, after, you know, for myself, it's like 22 years of this, you know, looking at it from, I guess, every angle, but really as the manifesting generator that I am, and a 3-5, you know, I'm like, you know, taking it apart <laughs> completely. <laughs> And, and, and of course, uh, you know, I'm always referring to my own design because uh, for me, uh, the beauty of this system, and uh, I, I always used to say, and I still, I actually still believe this, is that uh, it answers all the questions. Mm -hmm. it, it does have, you know, it truly is this description of the Maya and of the illusion. Mm -hmm. But uh, that being said, it's like all truth. Uh, I was thinking about this before, we, you know, we were talking and it's like this whole thing around the truth that you can always associate is this thing about obscuration. Mm -hmm. And so that the truth has generally been pretty obscure mm -hmm. and hard to find. And that's mm -hmm. really because generally speaking, people that had the truth uh, were in great danger. And, uh, you know, all you have to do is, you know, go back in history and see what we've done to a lot of people that brought the truth that nobody wanted to accept at the time, right? <laughs> and so I believe that, you know, in human design, I believe in any of these things, there's lots of misinformation. Uh, I was there for many of these um, lectures of Ra. He made mistakes. He put the wrong numbers in places. He, you know, there, there was always something about it uh, that made me want to kind of uh, I guess synthesize it in a different way and to me the one thing that he never stopped saying and I think is at the, at the heart of all of this is that I needed to synthesize it for myself and and to see it truly you know uh, especially as a generator we're here to know ourselves it's like you know that my response tells me uh, everything uh, so what is that really for me as this unique human being and so I've been working with it and uh, had the you know the great pleasure to meet up with uh, with John a number of years ago I had seen his videos you can see my first video I did with him where I just said he was such a crazy guy <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm a crazy girl and so we've just gotten along like really well and so we just keep having uh, you know these conversations from these different perspectives that I believe help both of us uh, live more directly as self and so we are letting you be a fly on the wall yeah yeah 
And much of what we say is going to contradict um, even what is still being taught as the end all be all of human design. And it's really just that simple, guys. I mean, you're going to find your own truth here or you're going to find no truth at all. So if you're looking out there, you're already lost, guys. It's all in there. It's in you. So if you can't self-verify that, um, this whole experiment is really pointless. I mean, it just becomes another belief system. You believe you're doing your human design because you think you know something about it. And welcome back to your personality being part of your not self, if we're going to use that terminology today. Um, I've more and more just been going to the, the, the entity that thinks it's doing something, you know? Um, so that's where, that's where we're starting, guys, that, that your body's flying through space. And if you think you're doing any of this, you've already <laughs> missed the point. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't think you're the coolest human in the universe, per you, <laughs> then you're probably not doing it right. <laughs> you know? There can be up days, up days and down days for sure. It plays matters. And it's not even about that you're, you know, you're not doing it right. You're not seeing what really is going on. I think that's our point here. Yes. Is that yes. it is about yes. seeing what's really going on. And, you know, Ra never stopped saying, I mean, you know, he would give these intro talks, right? And where he always started, and I guess that's where we always start, is don't believe us. Don't believe John. Don't believe Teresa. Prove this for yourself. And you prove it for yourself by being able to see yourself in your life okay this is what John calls self verification this is why we're calling this living as self because yeah. that is the unique human being that you happen to be and if you can really get into the right space which means you get to see yourself in your life in the movie mm -hmm. uh, it's incredibly revealing it's incredibly uh, I mean, it has all elements, okay? It's better than anything you're ever going to see on the screen. And we know how much shit is on the screen at this point. So <laughs> that's really, that's what we're about. Yeah. And uh, if you would like to join us and be a fly on the wall, um, John will do, you know, he's going to do the technical end of this and put it so that that's possible for you. And, you know, all you have to do is, you know, be part of the unleashed community. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you there. Yeah. Okay. And um, what else do, would we like to say today? I mean, really, Teresa. I mean, this is this has been an ongoing discussion for us. Um, I know how much we have to share. I know how much experience. And, and I really do love the analogy that I've been your, your research and development, and I've been your crash test dummy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but all of my students have been my crash test dummies and, and city. I mean, look, I, at this point, I'm so identified with my function as a projector, as, my function as a projector, okay? Mm -hmm. Really not identified with John anymore. I mean, I keep the name in honor of the dude I had to kill to get here. And and as Teresa pointed out very, <laughs> very early on, yes, I, you know, if you believe anything I'm saying, that's not the point, but... You know, had somebody tried to tell me I'm some cosmic wizard that could reach out through space and, and tap right into people's life force and bypass their mind. I mean, my God, dude, I mean, you know, what kind of mad trip would that have put me on? But that's what I've come to, guys. That's how it works. I mean, I don't know how it works. I see that it does. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand the difference? I, I don't know what John's going to do in 30 seconds, much less do I have a plan for anything else. Like Teresa said, he's going to do something with this. <laughs> we, yeah. We're going to do with this yet. <laughs> well, and I, I, I guess what I would say, and that this is really, you know, the, the, the foundation of our camaraderie is that it's really clear for both of us that we're not doing anything okay life is doing all of this life has more imagination than we do and that that's the whole point of being able to actually be 
in your life, living as yourself and getting to witness your frequency as part of this whole totality. And, you know, we can get mystical and we can go deep. And, but the truth of the matter is, is at least from my perspective, everything that I'm saying is for me not for anybody else, okay? And if you get something out of what I say, well, you know, lucky for you. Yeah, good, good, good but for, but you. for me, <laughs> and that's why John and I talk to each other because we actually have this opportunity to share our outer authority. And that outer authority in its simplest form to me is that you are living yourself, living in your life, and you actually have something to say because that's what you're seeing and that's what you're talking about. And so, you know, it gets to be kind of a lonely process because most people are just repeating the blah, blah, blah that they either read in a book or they heard somebody say, and it's got nothing to do with the reality, which is what we're talking about here. What is real? The self is real. The body is real. There is something to see. And if you're not in the moment, okay, present in your body, you really got nothing to say. And, you know, this is, this is, this is that universal truth that's been around for forever. The difference is, I think at this point, is this is a roadmap. This does have road signs for you to actually, once you start to see yourself and your life, uh, you know, this, this answers a lot of the uh, questions that you might have. Mm -hmm. But it all starts from the inside out. And, uh, and so John and I have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And, and quite honestly, Teresa is the only human on the planet at this point that I will talk about human design at this level with. Period, guys. Period. Everyone else just seems like they're talking. I either I don't get them, they don't get me, or whatever. That's fine. But um, honestly, there's just yeah, it's it is a bit lonely to find yourself, you know, standing on a mountain all by yourself and going, "Whoa, this is this is trippy." Um, but the frequency becomes very obvious. It is a refinement of your own art. You know, if, if I, you know, I, it's not like I do everything perfectly every day, but, you know, I mean, life, life keeps me on course now. I mean, I can feel the slightest, you know, bobble in my bubble. It's like, no, you're off frequency. You're out of frequency. Something's off, you know? So, I mean, guys, we're just flying through space and waking up to that fact and waking up to, you're not in charge of any of this. So it's like, well... You know, do you, is that really what you're looking for? Are you still looking for a better job and a better life or, or whatever? Or do you not get that it's already perfect? Um, you know, this is, this is the discussion I want to have. It's like, yeah, I mean, Ross said a lot of stuff. And I could edit a lot at this point. But, you know, not that it would do any good. Um, but, uh, yeah. So we're going to have these discussions, and if you like what we're saying and it empowers you or helps you in any way, great. If you don't like what we're saying, get out of here. <laughs> it's just simple as that. <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> of course we're not telling you what you want to hear. <laughs> but, but has any mystic on the planet ever said what anybody wanted to hear? You know, I mean, that, I think that was what Teresa's pointing out. It's like, hey, you're not, you're not doing any of this. It doesn't, doesn't sell well on the brochure. Um, and the fact that none of that, the, what we, you know, call the false self or the not self in human design, I mean, guys, it hasn't gone anywhere. I'm just much more aware of it. And this is where I joke, hey, I want all my money back from human design. <laughs> 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 this stuff didn't go away I just quit listening to it now I'm very aware of my stupidity uh, is, is that that's a different uh, that's a different thing than, than, than improving or being better and, and this whole awareness thing of getting to a point of <laughs> not knowing where choice begins or ends if, if there's any at all um that was the surprise in the movie for me, guys. I, I didn't come from a mystical background. I didn't come from a spiritual background. I wasn't looking for 
any of this. I, I followed my body, my mind is all. And any illusion that I had any control over this life dissolved right along with it. So I guess that's really our discussion, isn't it? I mean. Yeah, no, we wanted to, you know, we wanted to kind of set forth, um, you know, an introduction to what what we're about here mm -hmm. before, you know, we kind of, you know, get into the meat of things. And, and we can guarantee we don't know where we're going because <laughs> <laughs> yes. we never do when we start to yeah. talk to each other, right. but it's always a lot of fun. And, yeah. uh, and it is this great, great yin yang. I mean, we definitely have, uh, a, I think a very, you know, interesting connection, you know, in that sense that, um, I'm like, like I say, you know, I think especially as a three, five, you know, that five, I'm just looking for the, 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 the universal truth that's like really simple, but I actually don't have a great ability to express that to most people, but that there's something about, you know, talking to you, John, from this level of madness that I have as I you know, continue to sort through all of this that resonates with you. And then you have this great ability to just, you know, simplify it and, you know, put it out in a way that, uh, uh, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. But, <laughs> but, you know, don't anybody bother me. Just, you know, listen, listen to John, right? But that John, you know, John in, in, and again, at this energetic, you know, frequency is one of the few people that has uh, been able to lure this, you know, this fifth line body out to talk and to be videotaped. And now, you know, we're just doing this without the video because we don't, we don't, we don't have to see each other. We just talk to each other. And, right. um, and, and so, you know, he's, he's the one that, um, I talk to when I come up with these things and I'm like trying to, you know, first I validate it for myself. And then usually I talk to John and John like either thinks I'm full of it or he's got, <clears throat> maybe that's right, Teresa. And then he validates it some more. And, mm. uh, you know, uh, but it's all really coming from this, uh, like I say, our motivation to live as self, uh, to, uh, I guess, share support and empower as self that, you know, all of us have all of those capabilities and uh, some are more pronounced than others. But as human beings, we are here to share, we are here to support and we are here to empower. And the only way that you, you know, actually do that uh, is as this clear outer self you know outer authority your your self speaking so that's our that's really you know our intention for mm -hmm. for these conversations and uh so you no know, if if it's something that does something to you well you know join in uh like i say join join the unleashed community and uh as we put these things out you'll get to to Get an earful. Get an yeah. earful. <laughs> our, 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 our request of a shameless twenty dollars a month. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, our, our big request. <laughs> yeah, the big request. Two bucks because our time is worth something, guys. And that's right. It's worth so much you couldn't pay for it. But um, we're real, and we're here in the matrix, and and we're showing up for people that really want us. And yes. I was giggling last night, Teresa, poor Teresa. She wouldn't have anything to do with the collective if it wasn't Randy before me, the late, great Randy, and then me dragging her out into the collective. I mean, she couldn't care less. <laughs> they, 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 they're like, well, I want to see what Teresa's sharing with you. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> she sends me PDF. I'm like, oh God, what's my homework now? <laughs> but honestly, she's the only person that has anything of any value. She, she's the only one showing up that has anything of any value for me at this point in this experiment. And um, her latest discovery is, uh, and, and honestly, my, my whole splenic body is lighting up. I mean, what she verified, I'm over here. I don't trust the personality. I don't trust it. She's like, yeah, because it's all about this. And Rob went off on that. And I was like, oh, thank God. No wonder. 
<laughs> so thank you for all your dedication and research and development side. And uh, um, I will continue to not trust anything, I'm sure. But, um, you know, that's just the dilemma of being me. You know? Yeah, that's, you yeah. know, this is this true, deep acceptance yeah. of self. I mean, to live as self, you have to accept yourself okay and yeah. and again for me the beauty of this system the beauty of this map is that it's signposts okay we don't tell anybody who they are okay that's what really our bottom line is you got to find that out for yourself okay but there are pointers there you know that's what the system was about and that you know it can be very uh, a lot of it is very obscure. A lot of it, I think, is just misinformation. I think it's like the truth has always been, and you got to sort it out for yourself. So hopefully these conversations, you know, I know I'm looking forward to them because always when I talk to John, you know, things become clear for me. Uh, there's just this great uh, interaction between us. And so, you know, we're happy to share that. But really, we're doing this. Well, especially I'm doing it. I'm a three five. I mean, you know, I just do this for myself anyway. Poor John, he's collective. You know, he's transpersonal. You know, it's really, you know, but that's his. That's his cross. You know, I mean, we all have our thing, right? And it's part of what I think really makes this, you know, quite uh, a, a conversation with great breadth because of our differences. You know, that he's a projector and I'm a manifesting generator, and you know, I have this emotional definition and he's. Splendid. I mean, you couldn't get, you know, two people that are less alike, I guess, you know, mm -hmm. there, there are real differences. And because of that position in space and that particular view that each of us have, it's kind of fascinating to really talk to each other and to have the same language, because there's definitely going to be some technical language here. <clears throat> excuse me, that we're not necessarily explaining and we're not putting this out as education. Okay, this is really, this is the disclaimer. This is our opinion. It's coming from our view. Uh, take it as you would like, but uh, uh, it will be fun. Yes. <laughs> okay. It will, it will be fun and we'll, we will see what happens next. Yes. <laughs> Aloha.